Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now uh, today I'm playing the BTR-80A as you see first here on this disastrous map. Um, I don't really know how I'll go along with this situation here. Maybe I'll just kind of post up along here and wait for people to push in front of me. Of course, BTR-80A has got 30mm with APDS so it's uh, mostly very good at shooting people on the side. Especially when the enemies actually have some armor. But um, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. Sadly, we don't get access to a stabilizer, but you know, that isn't exactly uh, the end of the world for us here. Just because we still have a fairly good traverse. Let's see what's happening uh, on the other side of this wall here. I think there is a tank. There we go. We're just going to quickly stop him from capturing the zone. I'm a bit out in the open here though, so uh, let's quickly back up before anybody shoots us from that hill there because that's where they spawn in. Optionally, I might just try and rush in front here, I was about to say, but there's actually a tank right behind me. He is actually already scouted, so, uh, you know, I won't be getting any scouting bonuses on him. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to quickly get rid of his driver, and uh, we're going to shoot his ammo here, and there we go. That does give us another kill. Sounds like there's another leopard here in front of us somewhere. Uh, he's kind of uh, in the building. There's also a tank right here on the capture zone. I can't really see him though, so I don't think I'm gonna push that since there is also this leopard here, which, uh, oh, okay, I missed the scout. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, this guy is backing up. There we go. We're just going to quickly get his commander engine turn on fire a bit, annoy his turret a bit, and, uh, you know, I guess can be a bit careful here. And there we go. That does uh, give us a kill. Uh, I think I'm going to skip on the capture zone right now since uh, I'm not sure if the leopard here is still alive or not. We do have to be careful here. Uh, nope, this part seems clear. This is also clear. Okay, maybe I should have gotten the capture zone then. Oh well, that's fine. Sounds like there's a plane here in the sky. Uh, you know what? I may have to try some SBA in this thing. Oh, I'm surprised we actually survived these artillery shells here. That's always nice to see. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, we won't be getting kill on that. Sounds like there's a martyr here. Um, don't know where he is. Might be somewhere there. Nope, I'm wrong. Oh well. We'll just back up here into cover. Try and find that plane. There he is. And uh, maybe I'll be able to shoot him down if we can get the gun up enough, which it seems like we can. There we go. Critical hit. Fire. That uh, is probably sufficient to give us a kill. There's also an F-84 somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where though. So I'm going to skip on looking into the skies for now. And instead I'll focus back on the ground. Because it looks like our allies here aren't really having that great of a time. Oh, we just saw a weasel there. Sadly, I couldn't scout him. We do have to pay attention to that. Because of course uh, that 20mm is uh, destructive towards us. There we go, there he is. I'm just gonna quickly get rid of him there and back up into cover. And yeah, I guess now we just kind of wait for enemies to push over the hill, though it looks like there's a tank somewhere all the way out there, but I don't want to deal with that. He's a bit too far from me. Now it sounds like there's an M113 in front of us here somewhere. Um, he did, uh, what was it? Yeah, I kind of destroy my friendly there earlier. I'm gonna try and scout him through the wall here. Looks like I've been artilleried though, so that isn't very optimal. Um, there's also that mystery tank from the other side, which I also have to pay attention to. So I think for now I'm going to back up here into the capture zone, because, uh, yeah, that's the safest thing to do. Alright, well I've left the capture zone now because there wasn't really much happening on it. There seems to be something here in front of us. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if we can go through that. Uh, it looks like we can't. Oh, there we go. We actually got his engine, and there we go. He does get eliminated, so... That's a uh, very nice teamwork from that AMX-50 there. Um, ooh, there's a new, like, indicator on my screen. That's cool to see. Uh, there's also a Gepard there, which is actually already scouted. Sadly, I can't get the gun down. There's also a Kugel Blitz there, which I'm just gonna quickly scout there. Wow, they're all spawning in now. Where were they the entire game? Um, whatever. Oh, there we go. Looks like the uh, M163 also has uh, new gun sounds. Which uh, is nice. Sadly, I can't really engage anybody here, so I think I'm going to try and uh, move into a position where I won't be spotted on their uh, spawn radar. But I can still shoot them, so maybe somewhere like here. I'm going to try going after 
their SBAA first. Maybe, actually, no, I won't. Let's just go after this leopard. There we go. Uh, where is the other people? You know what? Let's just back up here for a moment. Better be safe than sorry, as they say. And, uh, yeah, I guess we can try and go after somebody here. There we go. There we go, there's another kill for us, and, uh, oh, there we go, sadly, we couldn't get the, uh, kill on the martyr, but I think we did get an assist. Looks like the A point's getting captured, though, so let's quickly head towards there, because, uh, well, I do, uh, want to win this game. Alright, well, sadly, we couldn't make it there. Looks like there is an SK-60 here, maybe that's the one that I set on fire earlier. Um, there we go, sadly, we can't really hit him here. Bit of a, a skill issue. You know, I'll just stop wasting ammunition on him. And, uh, yeah, I think that's game. Oh, sadly, we only set him on fire there. But, um, yeah, really cool vehicle, actually. Alright, for our next battle here, we are on, uh, what is this map? Uh, Ash River. Yeah, there we go. I remembered. Uh, Ash River, admittedly, is uh, not exactly a very good map for this vehicle, just because there is no real place to flank. Like, the entire map is kind of the middle of the map, so... Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Um, there's uh, something right there who, unfortunately, is showing his side. Let's quickly get out of here, though, because I do hear someone there who will uh, probably eventually engage me, so... Yeah, let's uh, make sure our turret is turned the correct way, so that we don't get surprised by anything unfortunate. There we go, we did actually manage to get this guy's uh, barrel there. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We do get the assist, so that's cool. Uh, looks like there's another tank here, though. Uh, we're just going to quickly eliminate that before he has a chance to shoot at me or point his armor at me. And, uh, yeah, now we just have to hope that we don't get shot from the top of the hill on the uh, that side of the map. There we go, we're just going to engage the Type 75 there. Barely saw his turret roof, but I guess that does uh, plenty of damage to him. I'm going to call it an artillery strike, because I think he has to repair something now. Looks like our friendly IS-6 is also getting engaged. Sadly, you know, I would like to repair him, but, uh... Yeah, I think it would be a bit difficult for me. Well, there we go, looks like someone has sort of... That is a tortoise, I can't deal with that. What I can deal with is the T95 there, um, let's just try and get this guy's barrel, oh, well he got my barrel, okay. Uh, let's just quickly get behind cover here, hopefully these, uh, yeah, tanks here don't push me. Also, I just noticed this tank doesn't have crew replenishment. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, or maybe because of how I have this vehicle, but whatever, let's just, uh, scout that tortoise there. And, um, yeah, I guess now we just have to uh, wait for someone to deal with them because, well, we can't really do that. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Uh, oh, this thing's really bouncy. Uh, there we go. That was a bit awkward there. Let's get into cover before we get shot by anybody else. Sounds like there was also a uh, plane somewhere, so maybe we can try and go after that while we repair our tank here. Uh, we are sliding down. Luckily, this thing has really good elevation, so I can kind of, uh, you know, just look at him. There we go, we get a hit. And, uh, there we go. That was actually enough to give us the kill. So, I think there aren't really many enemies here, though, so maybe I'll have to run into their spawn for something to happen. Now, there sounds like there is a, uh, something really fast somewhere here. There we go, we do see it. I'm just gonna aim for his turret first, then aim for his driver. And, uh, yeah, that does successfully get rid of him. Seems like, sounds like there's something else around here, though, so we do have to be careful. Oh, never mind, it's dead now, okay. Well, I think that's pretty much game, then.
All right, for our next battle here, we are here on the Campania. Now, on this map, usually uh, what I do is I go capture the zone because, you know, mobile tanks are usually best at doing that. There's actually someone right in front of me, and when, uh, we both didn't actually notice each other. I didn't see him because he was a, a bush. But uh, yeah, luckily he did make a bit of noise, so that did help me locate him. Uh, I do hear a couple of other tanks here. I don't know where they've gone, though. So uh, yeah, we do have to be a bit careful here. But uh, I guess as soon as I've captured the zone here, I'll probably leave. Just because, yeah, being here is uh, never really a good idea. Ooh, there we go. We do actually see a tank there in front of us. We're just going to quickly get rid of him. Now, I did hear something to the right here. So we do have to be very careful about that. There we go. And uh, after that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else here, I think. No, there definitely is somebody else here. Uh, maybe I will try and engage them, but I do have to be very, very careful. Maybe I'll just actually just go to the B point because, um, you know, it looks very open. Alright, well, uh, change of plans. Uh, looks like there was an uh, M36 there, so we can actually go through that really easily. We're just going to have to turn around the tank here very very slowly and after that we can just hold W and there we go oh wow I actually hit that I didn't didn't even expect that but hey that's always nice to see I'm gonna try and, uh, yeah, go to the B point now. Unfortunately, we did get killed there earlier. I uh, didn't really see the M18 and thought our teammate had, uh, had that area covered, but evidently that was not the case. Now, I do actually hear a tank right here somewhere, and there we go. We're gonna scout him and call in an artillery strike. So, uh, hopefully our team will be able to deal with that. I'm gonna try and go to the A point after this. Um, there we go. Very nice, uh, because, well, it looks, uh, still occupied by the enemies and you know it's not nice now i don't really know where the enemies are uh, over here but i do hear someone to the right and, uh, oh there we go he knows exactly where we are well let's just uh, try and get out of here for now there we go we got his gunner and loader and his barrel so uh, i think i'd call that a successful engagement the problem is i think there was another tank here somewhere with him so we do have to be very, very careful about that. Oh, there we go. He is right there. Well, let's just run around the corner here and act like that never happened. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. There we go. Let's just quickly get rid of this guy right over here. And, uh, yeah, then we have to run. Looks like the beat point's actually getting captured. So uh, that's interesting. Uh, I think what I'll do... So I'll just sit right here next to the capture zone, and once he's captured it, he'll probably move out of it, and then I'll be able to engage him relatively effortlessly. Oh, never mind. He just kind of showed himself there. Okay, well, we're going to scout him for the team there, and after that, we can kind of just move up. You know, of course, uh, the BTR is a very vulnerable tank, so I can't just really do whatever I want. But, uh, you know, I think we do have quite a lot of leeway here. And there we go. I guess the only thing we have to do now is to recap for the zone and then hope that we don't get shot from behind. Okay, now I do hear a tank here in front of us. I'm gonna quickly scout that for our friendlies here, just so that they know that it exists. Ooh, this is not gonna be good though. Oh, there we go. There's our first engagement there. I'm gonna try and get rid of him here, but uh, unfortunately... Oh, there we go. Looks like our teammates have been able to deal with him. I'm going to try and move out of the capture zone now because, uh, well, everyone knows we're here. And, uh, yeah, that really isn't great. There's also an enemy plane right here who has, uh, fortunately done quite a lot of damage to us, but luckily no bombs. So we can just extinguish here and, uh, yeah, try and engage him again once he comes back around.
There we go, that's the P38. Then there's an Amex 13 here somewhere behind us, so I do have to pay attention to that as well. Uh, one problem with the BTR is you can't really shoot behind it because there's like a fence in the way. So uh, yeah, you do have to definitely watch out for that. Let's so quickly do a spawn point check, 2100. Um, not great. Uh, admittedly, could be better, but uh, yeah, I think after we engage this AMX-13, maybe we'll have a chance at, um, you know, having a new if he camps his own for us. Oh, unfortunately, I think he knows that I exist, so, uh, you know, it's not great. I'm gonna call in an artillery strike on him here, but, uh, you know, I don't think I'll be very successful in my operation. Right now, I think I'll have to disengage from this area, just because, uh, you know, Oh, never mind. This guy thought it was a really good idea to shoot me. Um, admittedly, though, I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage to him. And there we go. We uh, finally are able to destroy his driver. And now I guess we can repair and go capture the zone. And then hopefully we'll have enough spawn points. Oh, never mind. Looks like we don't get to have a nuke. We do have 2,400 spawn points, though. We did just capture a zone, so... Uh, you know what, I'll say that we had enough spawn points to spawn in one. Anyway, uh, hopefully you did actually enjoy this there. Wow, three capture zones. Um, yeah, quite nice. We did die once though, but you know, it is what it is. You don't always have perfect games in this game. Anyway, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. BTR, quite a fun vehicle. Um, you know, as you, see, as you see here in the progress research bar, I've already uh, played it quite a bit and yeah, I've definitely had fun in it. Anyway, um, now that I'm actually an official uh, content creator, I get to have these little test drives, um, which is uh, really nice. So, once of all, thank you for uh, all your support, because it means that now I get to make content like this on vehicles that are just freshly released, even if I don't have them researched. Anyway, that does it for me today, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.